Surrendering is so important when it comes to manifesting, but how exactly do you do it? Today, I'm going to give you three ways you can use to surrender your desires to the universe. Keep on watching to learn what they are and how you can use them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenneth Wong and my channel is all about spirituality, self-help and manifestation. Today's video topic is on surrender. Now, people often say that surrendering your desire is one of the most important steps when it comes to manifesting, and they're correct. To surrender simply means to give your desire over to the care of the universe. Surrendering helps you manifest because it catapults your energy back into high vibrational feelings of joy, peace, and certainty. When you are unwilling to let go of an outcome, your energy becomes controlling and fearful. Maybe you're constantly worrying about whether your desire will manifest or not. And this low vibrational energy attracts its likeness, which creates more resistance against your desire. But surrender is the exact opposite of worry. You are so certain that the universe has your back that you're willing to let go of your control and simply let the universe take the wheel. As you can see, the energy behind a desire that is surrendered and a desire that is not surrendered are polar opposites. And according to the law of attraction, whatever energy you send out, you will receive. This is why surrendering is so important when it comes to manifesting. If you want to get into the practice of surrender, here are three ways to do it. The first way to surrender to the universe is to surrender your plans. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a big fan of planners and to-do lists. Planning makes us feel safe because it makes us feel like we're in control. But sometimes our plans can get in the way of the universe's plans. We often think we know what's best for us, but it's important to remember that the universe's plan always transcends our own. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to go and throw your planner and agendas down the trash. It simply means to stay open to creative possibilities. Be open to exploring new ways of doing things and don't sweat it if you have to take a detour. Recognize that whatever comes your way is leading you towards solutions of the highest good. The second way to surrender to the universe is to surrender your timelines. Now, this is a big obstacle for a lot of us nowadays because we're so used to getting what we want instantly. I mean, you order something on Amazon and you expect it at your door the next day. So the fact that we can't control the timing of our manifestations causes a lot of people to spiral down into low vibrational emotions like fear and worry. And when you dwell in low level energy, you receive low level outcomes. So if you want to manifest your desires, you must be willing to surrender your timelines to the universe. Instead of focusing on when you receive your desire, focus on how good it feels to raise your vibration through your spiritual practices. Whether you like to do affirmations or meditations or prayer to the universe, focus on how good these practices make you feel. As I teach in my book, you must feel good before you can manifest not the other way around. Trust that everything you need will come to you when the timing is right. The final way to surrender to the universe is to surrender your outcomes. When we're manifesting, we often have a very specific vision of how our desire will manifest. But when you're too attached to one specific outcome, that can actually block you from manifesting what you truly want. For example, let's say you want to manifest the joy of working at a job you love, but you're really attached to this one specific company. When you start to cultivate that high vibrational energy of joy in your life, you will start to attract people, situations, and experiences that match your joyful energy. And now that joy may manifest in the form of a new job at a different company, or a new freelancing gig, or perhaps you may even start your own company. All of these outcomes can lead you to that joy that you desire. But if you're too attached to that one specific company, you're going to miss out on all the other opportunities that are right in front of you. This is why it's so important to let go of the outcome that you think you need. When you let go of what you think you need, you create room for the universe to bring you what is of the highest good. 
So be open to exploring new opportunities and trust that your positive energy is enough to attract to you the outcomes that are the best fit for you. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. And subscribe to my channel if you want more videos just like this. If you want more information on manifesting, then head over to my website, which is linked down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video serves you.